How do fertility treatments work? Um, fertility treatments, um, the, the four main broad reasons of uh, infertility is ovulation defects, tubal factor infertility, male factor infertility, or sometimes it can be unexplained in nature. There can also be other groups of patients in whom fertility treatments or interventions may be required, such as patients with recurrent miscarriages. So fertility treatments going on to looking at the ovulation defects uh, can be managed easily by performing ovulation induction. Ovulation induction involves the use of pills such as Clomid or Clomiphene or using gonadotropin injections um, to help induce the ovulation and this is then monitored and then you're advised either you're given further injections to facilitate the ovulation or we wait for the natural ovulation to happen and then you're advised of timed intercourse. That is how ma majority of the times the ovulation problems can be addressed. In some cases you may be advised to take progesterone um, supplements to help with uh, provide extra progesterone support if the embryo were to implant. Tubal factor infertility can be dealt with largely by performing IVF. IVF is usually indicated in patients with moderate to severe tubal disease, where it has led to the blockage of the fallopian tubes or total damage of both the fallopian tubes, or it has led to the removal of both the fallopian tubes or what we call a salpingectomy. By performing an IVF, the initial processes such as, of conception, such as fertilization and the early embryo development, which happen in the fallopian tube, by performing IVF, you're undertaking these procedures outside the body and then replacing the embryo at the time when it would naturally be within the womb cavity. So that's how IVF can circumvent the, um, the tubal factor infertility. In cases of male infertility, um, performing performing treatments like ICSI or intracytoplasmic sperm insemination, what we do is the patients have to go to a process which is very similar to IVF. However, in IVF, when we inseminate the eggs, we leave the eggs in the sperms in the petri dish and the fertilization happens naturally. Whereas with ICSI, the embryologist assesses the sperms under the microscope and picks up a healthy appearing sperm and injects it into the egg. So what we are performing is we are facilitating the entry of the sperm into the egg but the injected sperm and eggs still have to go through many changes in the next 20-24 hours to create the early embryo. So that is how sometimes we can deal with uh, male factor infertility. In cases of men where there is total absence of the sperms in the ejaculate, then we may suggest performing procedures such as surgical sperm recovery or SSR. By performing this procedure, we retrieve the sperms and these sperms are then frozen and used for an ICSI treatment at a later date. Where we think that patients might have unexplained subfertility, where we have not identified any reason, in that situation we would suggest performing an IVF along with ICSI. In patients with recurrent miscarriages, we probably would suggest performing pre-implantation genetic screening of the embryos or PGS, which is also known as comprehensive chromosome screening or CS. So by doing, uh, because the majority of the early miscarriages are genetic in nature, and therefore by selecting a genetically normal embryo and replacing back, we may be able to help some of the patients. So this is in summary different ways the fertility treatment works, but it really depends on the cause of the infertility as to how it may help them. In some patients, uh, we can perform artificial insemination. It is also commonly known as either just insemination or IUI or intrauterine insemination. Generally, IUI or intrauterine insemination will be recommended for patients uh, where women might have problems such as vaginismus or there is history of erectile dysfunction. Uh, then, in these are in those cases we may suggest it. However, in patients with unexplained subfertility, insemination nowadays is not a recommended procedure. Even National Institute of Clinical Excellence or NICE suggests that couples experience unexplained fertility of more than two years should consider moving on to IVF or in, in vitro fertilization.